Anyway, how, well, hello everyone. <laughs> hello, Nick. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello there. Um, so hello yeah, there. hi there. So welcome back to Fall Back Lives of Saints. I hope you're all doing well. <laughs> oh, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just very old. Very old. Anyway, mm. go ahead. Anyway. Glad to be here, Nick. That's great. Well, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're here. But, um, so, so today, on this day of February 2nd, we celebrate the, the feast day, the presentation of the Lord. And today we, we actually have a witness to that. We have Simeon today. Thank you. Yes, Nick. I was there at the at the present at the actual presentation, mm. and uh, it was probably the greatest day of my life. So, um, tell us about yourself. Yeah. So, so yes, yeah, tell us about yourself. Okay. Simeon. <laughs> Absolutely. I'd be happy to. Great. <laughs> so I um, was a worshiper of God uh, and the Jewish people. And I was very, um, I don't think I was a Pharisee or anything. What was I? Anyway, but I would hang out in the temple all day long and be praying. And I was waiting for, um, I was waiting for, oh yeah, I was in the temple. I was waiting for the Messiah because the Lord, yeah, just a holy man. Okay, so I was just a holy man in the temple, hanging out in the temple, and the Holy Spirit had revealed to me. So I was a, I was a Jew, a practicing Jew, and I was very faithful. And um, the Lord revealed to me, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that I would see the Messiah before I died. Mm. And um, so, and I was getting older and older and older. And then finally, on the Feast of the Presentation, Mary and Joseph, I'll never forget it. They came into the temple, and they were going to come in to, to dedicate him to the Lord. And I saw him, and the Holy Spirit said, that's the one. That's the one. So I went up to him, and I took him from his mom and dad, and they let me hold him, and I blessed him. And this is what I said. Would you mind telling us what you said? I don't mind at all. I remember it. And you know what? The church prays this prayer of mine every day. At night prayer at Compline, okay, it's it's the uh, the gospel canticle at uh, night prayer. Mm. It goes like this: Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, because I saw Jesus. Mm -hmm. Saw your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. So I was holding in my hands. I was blessing and holding in my hands. I got to see the Messiah for the whole world, not just the Jews, mm. but for the Gentiles too. Mm. And then I knew that my life uh, was at an end. I, was, I could depart in peace, as I said. I could die because I'd finally seen the Messiah, just like the Holy Spirit had promised. Mm. And then I died, and, and God, um, and I got to come up here. So now I get to be with Jesus forever. Mm. So, so here's a question. Okay. So, what was the uh, what were the words you said to um, Mary when? Um, That's a great question, Nick. I I turned to Mary because again the Holy Spirit was talking to me, and I and the Holy I was holding the Messiah, and as I was holding, handing him back to his mother, I could see that Mary was also destined to be a part of her son's work of redemption mm. and that she would suffer along with him. And I told her that a sword would pierce her, uh, that she would she would also uh, have to, to suffer. And the main way that we know that Mary suffered was that she had to give up her son. She had to give up her son for the salvation for the world. She had to see him crucified for the sake of the whole world. And I can't imagine a, a greater suffering uh, human suffering than that. Um, but we're so grateful because Mary shared in Jesus's suffering. And so consequently, she um, got to share in the glory, right? So she was assumed into heaven. And now she's the mediatrix of, of grace. And, and um, she gets to, to be at Jesus's side as he as he goes about saving the world. And we turn to her 
because she knows what it's like. She knows what it's like to suffer as a human and human being, and, and we rely on her. Mm-hmm. You rely on her. Mm-hmm. I don't anymore. Oh, I do, but I mean, in a different way, because I'm already up here. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So, um... And then I got to see my friend Elizabeth, who also hung around the temple around a, a whole a whole lot, and she she ran off and was telling people that he was the Messiah too, though. So that was quite a day. The presentation it was quite a day. I'm glad you guys still remember it down there on Earth. Uh huh. It was quite a day. And as you all know, on this feast day, the presentation will get us close to um, the time of Lent when we um um when when we um. Like, not close, but, like... It's getting like, closer. Yeah, getting closer to the time of Lent when we um, remember Jesus is wandering in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. And you know what else? Today, Nick, um, today marks the official end of the... What season? The ordinary season. Ordinary. No, it's the end of Christmas season. And it's the time when people ought to... Oh, my gosh, there's a Christmas tree. <laughs> Uh, uh, Never took it down uh, yet. Uh, 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 well, anyway, technically, the today is the end of the Christmas season, so if you still have your Christmas trees up, you should probably take them down and go throw them out on the curb, and somebody will pick them up next spring. Uh-huh. All right, just a little, just a little heads up there, <laughs> a little tidbit. <laughs> well, you know what's a good idea, Simeon? What's that? Let's end with, let's end with the prayer. Sure enough. All right. Well, let's do that very thing. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us on Long Facts by the Saints, Simeon. You're welcome. And I just want to point out to your regular viewers, they may recognize this beard as being very similar to one that uh, St. Nicholas wore way back in uh, early December. But I just want you to know that this is not St. Nicholas's beard. This is my beard. <laughs> so, fear not. I'm not a fake St. Nicholas. I am Simeon. Thanks. Sure. Well, um, stay right there for announcements. Um, All right, I'll get out of here. Okay. Um, announcements. Um, tomorrow, um... We will receive a visit from St. Blaise himself. Um, and that is the day when um, when you go to Mass, you'll have your your, ne- your necks be blessed with the, ca- with the candles. So be sure to go to Mass tomorrow. Um, on um, Friday, we will see if we can get a visit from St. Agatha, the Virgin and Martyr. If that is not possible, that's okay. We will still have a regular scheduled gospel reflection along with um, St. Trivia to follow. Well, that's all for this week. I mean, th- I mean, not this week. That's all for today. Thank you all for watching this video. And I'll see you next time here on Final Facts by the Saints. God bless you all.